All right, so let's do a quick video here on the Ford Triton V8s, three valve engines that have these ridiculously designed spark plugs. So what happens is this is a new spark plug. This is the old spark plug. As you can tell, the gap is a lot bigger and they need to be replaced. What happens is there's a lot of material that builds up around these things and it makes them stick. And so they end up breaking. As you can tell, we've got a ceramic one that's broke here. We've got an electrode and these other pieces. Now, what happens is uh, when we go to get these out, we're using a kit. This is the preferred kit right here from Lyle. That's part number. And what you need to use are these pieces. This is the uh, porcelain pusher. And this is the tip extractor sleeve. And this is the extractor. Okay? Nut and a washer. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to use your tool, which is going to be a 916 spark plug socket. Um, you're going to need a stubby 3 8 drive, a high leverage 3 8 drive, possibly an extension. Uh, extensions, this is a uh, two foot long. And you'll need a 24 millimeter so deep socket, 21 millimeter deep socket, and a 16 millimeter or 5 8 socket. Now, you'll attempt to take the spark plug out, and a lot of times what happens is this right here is a sleeve over the porcelain part. The sleeve will come out and leave the whole thing in. Sometimes it doesn't work that way. Sometimes it'll break and leave a part of that in there. And what you'll have to do is you'll have to pull, um, uh, pull that out with some pliers, and you should get some like these. This is another tool that you need to have. This provides just the right amount of length and the curve so you can get just the right amount of leverage to grab a hold of these spark plugs and pull them out. Because these electrodes are down in the middle of these things and it makes it very difficult to pull them out and you can't do it without anything really strong like a good pair of pliers. I've used these. Um, I should be using a duck bill which is a little bit wider. Those provide a little bit better of a grip and more centralized. It's easier to know where you're grabbing. Sometimes that porcelain breaks off and it leaves just this electrode tip sticking out of the top of this thing And then you'll have to reach down in there and you'll have to grab it and pull it out So this is a very good tool to have uh, You can use this on on all eight cylinders, but it's best on the back ones uh, number four and number eight And if you're doing a Ford Triton I've already done it myself I pulled the computer out of the way and made it a lot easier to get access to that hole. So, <clears throat> you unscrew it, pull that sleeve out. If, the, if it breaks, you got to work all, to get all that electrode out. Then, you want to push this porcelain. And what happens is if you do it just right, you should be able to stop right there. If you don't, you'll end up pushing some of it some of it through and it'll go down in the cylinder. And there's not much you can do about that, but the porcelain will break up as the engine runs and it'll misfire for a little bit, but then it'll go away. All right, so your next project is to grab the porcelain pusher. After you get this part out, all of that's out of there and this is what remains, you get your porcelain pusher. And you back this thing out so that rod is sitting right there, flush with the threads. These threads screw into the spark plug hole where that screws into. So when you screw that down, you're gonna use a 21 millimeter socket to tighten it up. You don't need to go real tight. That's why you need your stubby ratchet because you're only gonna use wrist power on this. That's all you need, just wrist power. So you put that into the spark plug hole and then you take your 5 8 or 16 millimeter and start screwing that in. It's a right turn. Everything here is a right turn to tighten. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you screw that down. Now you don't need to go very far. I know there's some some that uh, say you screw it all the way till it bottoms out, but you don't need to do that. So you only need to go so far till it pushes enough of that through. Because if you could tell, you're not going very deep. You're only going far enough to get the thread into uh, that to pull this thing out. And you certainly don't want to push it all the way through like this one. If you push it all the way through, 
and you're gonna break stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, all right, so once you push that through, you unscrew this, you pull it out, set that aside, you leave this assembly together. You take this, and you drop it down in the sleeve hole in the spark plug well. And then you take this part and you drop it down in the hole also. And that should be threaded out to where it goes just at the top right here. And then, as you can see, I've already got this attached still. And you should be able to counterclockwise turn until it grabs and bites on the inside of this. Then you have to counterclockwise that to be able to extract it. See, this is the reverse of righty tighty lefty loosey. You have to go the other direction. So as you turn counterclockwise, it begins to pull this through the sleeve and it pulls this little part out. Now, as you can tell, it's got a little bit of a shoulder to keep it from going down in the cylinder, but you want to try to try to make sure that that porcelain doesn't push all the way through. So once you get that in there and you counterclockwise turn till it stops, remember, use your uh, stubby ratchet right here. Use your stubby ratchet, and all you need is wrist power. Pull it in, turn it, pop it out, and there you go. After you get that done, then you get your new spark plug. Put it down the spark plug hole with your 916 ratchet, and tighten it up, and you can follow the specs uh, on tightening these. You don't need to go very tight. Um, <laughs> they just don't need to be in there that tight, so they don't have they don't blow out of the spark plug holes. So. But anyway, that's basically what you need. Just this kit, angled pliers, preferably duck build, 916 socket, 24 millimeter deep, 21 millimeter deep, 5 16 or 16 millimeter, high leverage ratchet. That's just to break these things loose if you can get them out. And then uh, use your uh, extension if you have to for reach. Now one thing I do want to tell you is if you want to make sure that these don't break on you, one of the easiest ways I've found to do this is to get this engine nice and hot before you start working on it. Just get it up to operating temperature. Shut it down, take all the coils out as quickly as you can, take all the coils out. Then get your 916 socket down in there and try to turn these uh, a little bit. You'll have to rock them back and forth just a little bit, but you only want to turn maybe 15 degrees. That's about it. After you turn 15 degrees, you get uh, some penetrate, uh, penetrating fluid, uh, WD-40, PB blaster, whatever you want to use. Spray it down in the spark plug holes. Uh, you don't need a whole lot. You only need like maybe a half ounce. Just spray it down in there so it works itself down and past the threads to the spark plug well to soften it up a little bit. After you do that, then you go back around and you start taking them out. You should be able to get them all out without any of them breaking. But if you let this engine cool down and it gets cold, you most likely will break all of them. So, uh, anyway, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Bye.